guys and welcome back. So today I wanted to do um, a what's for dinner. So I have three meals. I have a chicken, apple sausage, and potato sheet pan. I have some crock pot meatballs. These are the easiest meatballs you'll ever make and they're so good. And then I also have a French onion sausage potato casserole crock pot dish as well. That's super yummy and easy. So let's get cooking. Okay, so for dish number one, we're going to be doing a sheet pan. So it's literally just chicken apple sausage, which I fell in love with, some red onion, butternut squash, and potatoes. That's it, you guys. So just cut up all those ingredients and toss them onto your baking sheet. So one thing I hate is chopping up butternut squash. So I always get the Simple Truth Organic Frozen Butternut Squash. And I almost always have it in my freezer. So I pretty much just broke it up and tossed it right on top. I didn't worry about defrosting it or cooking it or anything prior just because since these are pretty small pieces and there's not a ton, it will cook perfectly in the oven. Then I'm just gonna toss olive oil all over it. Add some Italian seasoning, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, you know, just the basics. The chicken apple sausage has so much flavor on its own and it really helped make this dish pretty flavorful on its own. I just cook this on 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. Just make sure your sausage and potatoes are cooked through. Um, this meal was so delicious. It was so flavorful. She really ended up loving this and I can't wait to make it again. Yeah, 
guys this meal is literally so simple um these flame broiled italian styled meatballs are so delicious they are already made um they are so good and they're probably the best frozen meatballs i've had so far um i just had two bags of these because they're only about like 14 i think 14 meatballs each bag um so i just made both bags um, and I just tossed them into my lined crock pot. I'll leave these liners that I use down below in the description box. Also link my new crock pot. I just got this one off Amazon and I'm obsessed. It's so good. Um, you guys, it's literally like the best crock pot ever. But uh, anyways, I just add two of these bags into the crock pot. I just add one can of this Hunt's garlic and herb um, pasta sauce. I honestly don't know how many ounces this is. But I just do this one big can and then I fill up about halfway with water and I just add it to the pasta sauce and it kind of just thins it out just a little bit. Since these meatballs are frozen, they do end up taking up a bunch of the juice. Um, if that's even the right word. The sauce, I don't know. It absorbs a lot of it. So it just helps give it a little bit more moisture. Um, so then I just cook this on low for about six hours. You you can honestly probably cook them a lot less, but I was leaving the house. So I just did it low on six hours, and they're so good. It's so easy. So you can just toss them over pasta or meatball subs or whatever you want to make. Okay, so next we're going to be making this French onion turkey sausage casserole. Um, it's literally so simple and just three ingredients. So again, I'm just going to line my crock pot with these liners. It just literally makes cleaning up so much easier. I'm just gonna chop up my sausage. This is turkey sausage. Um, I'm just gonna chop them up and toss them into my crock pot. And so next thing I'm gonna add are these potatoes O'Brien, the potatoes O'Brien, 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 I don't know. Whatever these are, these have onion and peppers in them already. Um, I did about half the bag. You can do the whole bag if you really wanted to. The other half was a little frozen block, so I didn't add it. Um, and then I'm adding about half of this French onion dip. Um, it doesn't look the most appetizing, but I promise you guys the flavor in this is so good. So my toddler loved it so much, he even asked me for seconds, which is when you know he likes something. It was so good. Um, and literally the easiest thing ever so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little video and three new meals to make if you do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye